Hello, welcome back. This is Tomb Raider 10th Anniversary game by Core Design, an abandoned PlayStation Portable game that's been rebuilt by fans. This is the level levels thing. They've managed to put the levels in. They're all broken, but they're playable to a degree. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play this level. This is Velkabamba. Anyone who doesn't know, this is... But all these levels are broadly the same, as far as I know, on the original Tomb Raider 1 from 1996 and it is built by core design for the playstation portable they abandoned it and then it was it was repurposed as an indiana jones game i don't have no idea about what that involved and what the people have done who brought it back is put the levels back together put lara back in and then you've basically got something that runs similar to what they would have done if the game had been released as a commercial game so this get level is the Velka Bamba and this door doesn't open. I found the key for it but it doesn't open. But it's very nicely done and this is not a Tiara Lee and as far as I know the textures are I think original to what they wanted when the game was being developed so I think they must have used original. I think I had something about Legend. That's where Lara's um, physical appearance is based on they must have done a cross um, collaboration or something with some of the assets the original Tomb Raider 1 uh, textures and some Angel of Darkness as well so there is a mixture there but um, this is predating Anniversary the actual one after Legend that Crystal Dynamics did so it's not based on that because that was a, that was a later game that Core Design, Core Design had nothing to do with, as far as I know. So this it might resemble bits of Anniversary by Crystal Dynamics, but it's nothing to do with it, and it predates it by at least six months. So Lara, picked up. you can pick up some bits and pieces, but you can't do anything with anything. Lara, she's nicely lit though. The rendering on her is quite good. But there's no there's no enemies, there's no bears or walls or anything. I think they had to take them out. I did watch Tomb of Ash channel, which is where I actually got the the information for all of this. And they removed all of the monsters because you get crashing everything. And that was the Indiana Jones build, I think, which is what they then turned this game into. Then that didn't go anywhere. That was the more complete, I think, of the projects that they were working on and then they put Lara back in and they've kind of had half taken away all of her guns and stuff for the Indiana Jones character and they put them back in with Lara so it's kind of broken a bit. Door opens. I thought these doors were um, not wouldn't work at all because they had the, te the textures were missing but that's just the textures. There's the famous animal skin. What we can do is get over here, but I'm still struggling with my pad because I had to put X input drivers on it, which changed the layout again. And I couldn't move the camera because of that, but when I installed the X input on the actual game executable folder, it actually worked. So I've got a new gamepad, and I can't play it without a gamepad, so it's all kind of up and down, but it's reasonably... It's not too bad with the um, X input on that. These crumble. I fell through that... Um, alcove there when I first played it and fell out the wall on the other side which is funny and you can walk through walls by accident you can clip through corners and that's really bad especially when you're trying to do something and sometimes you're in a room full of water and you go into a room not full of water and it actually bugs out right that can be opened or pushed so this is that block I'm pressing the wrong buttons again push it Lara <laughs> That goes into the room with the... It's where the key is. There's a key and an idol. I'm not sure if there was a key and an idol or just an idol originally. There's no sounds for some of the objects that you move, so that's missing as well. Keep going, Lara. What's the purpose of this room? I don't understand. It's like... <laughs> they built it and it was real. That would be like... <laughs> You can only get in and out by pushing that block. That's like, I want to work there then. Right, there's a key. I think that's the one to the door, but I could be wrong because I thought it was an idol that you used to open the door. But and all the all the items are probably messed up. It's a 
be honest. I don't know what the cog was. Unless the cog was the key. Because these are like placeholders apparently. What these icon things are. Well lit though. I don't know what's lighting it. But <coughs> yeah this is it, the room. I think it was in anniversary. It was merely a kind of a little hut. Or something. Quite disappointing. They just abandoned that on anniversary. The core design. Uh... <coughs> Crystal Dynamics version, which was, I thought, very disappointing. When they merged the system with another level, and I thought, oh, that was a bit cheap of them to do that. But in this, this game, it's very, as far as I know, and what I've seen, it's very, very similar. That doesn't open. I'm trying it there, but it's not doing it. Apparently, there's a way to open doors. If you know how to work the um, editor on here, you can press F7, and then it comes up with a thing, apparently. Um, but... I don't know how to do that. I, there was a thing on Tomb of Ash channel which I have to write these things down. But right underwater, there's two rooms as we know. There's a bit that goes down to a bigger room with two levers, and I glitch through a trap door, and I don't think you're supposed to open it. At least in this version here, it's not implemented. But I glitch through it when I played it without recording it. Um, I'm going to try and go and see if I can get through it. This other room is the pickup secret room. I couldn't get through the water because it acts like a plate of glass and you can't get through it. So they haven't fixed this, but um, it's here. She won't go through it like plexiglass. Oh, I'll just come through it. Can I climb out? She's. Yeah, because the breath bar's gone up. No, she won't get out. It's like a layer of glass and she can't go through it. Which is quite funny. Like that. <laughs> Bit of a shame, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. So, the walls are. You can go through the walls slightly, but. The other end is the big room, and yes, there's two levers. And it did, when I glitched through this trapdoor, there's another little room, and you come out where you started again. So that does work in terms of the door opening on the other side, but the trapdoor doesn't work. I don't know how I got through it because it just, she just sort of popped through the top of it. Pull that, it doesn't animate the lever. And then there was something, I don't know if this is a, an intentional air pocket or it's a glitch, but she comes out there, I don't know why. I don't know if that's meant to be there. It's like she's swimming against the current, so I don't know if that's intentional. It's like there's something pulling her backwards, which is a bit annoying, I think that may be intentional. I'll have a go at getting for this. She did glitch through it. I don't think it opened though. Don't think it's open. Is it open? No, no. You can see the top of that like, untextured panel there. Uh, that's annoying. I'll try and get her to glitch through it, but I don't know how I did it before. She just popped through the top and then she was standing on top. Like, it's, a it's just a little room with a lever in it. Uh, yeah, that's a bit annoying. Right, let's go to the Lost Valley because I did play this before and I'll play it again. I didn't go to the main area. I don't think I've included it or whatever. The edit went funny. So anyway, here we are in the Lost Valley. This is the one where you got to open the gate and then it diverts the water so you can get an entrance to a cave mouth or something. So there's the water thing down there. And you need to get I think, three cogs or something to open to get the mechanism to open the gate, basically. And the area it's largely the same layout in general as the original game. The way you get up is you climb up here, and then oh, I get up. I'm still using this gamepad so it's kind of like I'm not really used to it and then I did install the X-Input drivers on that so that changed the layout again so I had to relearn that so it's a bit annoying I don't know where all the cogs are so Lara, you can pick all the stuff up but it doesn't do anything because Lara hasn't got an injury health bar so Lara. what you have to do, you have to rotate her uh, on the spot 
but she's, it's a bit glitchy and a bit annoying. I'm trying to pick this bloody thing up here. And she will walk, but you've got to be very gentle with the thumbstick. I normally, if I ever get keyboard, I might go back to keyboard, but because I can't play it without a joypad, it's a waste of time. I thought the other key, the other cog was up here, but I don't know. Where it would be, unless they've changed that, because I'm sure it was in the vicinity, unless I'm missing something. I don't know what that is. It looks like a torch or something. Oh, that could be the cog, but it doesn't look like a... I don't think I can get that, so... I'm not sure it's even possible to divert the water anyway to open the door to get to that other room where the... Um, there was a room and you have to fill it with water or something. There are no dinosaurs on this level because they haven't put them in, so this entire game is basically... There's the volcano. Rather lovely. Um, there's, no, there's no enemies at all, so it is literally just almost like a... a, a developer mode almost where you're there, you could survey the level basically that's all it is. Oh, I've got some water running there which is nice nice touch. Yeah there's th three cogs in this section and I think the when I played it before when I first ever looked at it I think you still got the secret so I think you can still climb up to the top of this building. The other one is down here, it's in a little kind of um, space. Well, I'm just being on the floor, it's like down in a secret area. This was before they did Anniversary, this one. This was obviously core design and not dynamics. So anyone who thinks this is based on what they did with Anniversary, um, it isn't because it predates that by about a year, I think. And core design had nothing to do with Crystal Dynamics, I would have thought. So. No, get out then. But I think the secrets are on top of there, because I did see the... Um, bit, there are pickups up there, but I don't know you get them, but if they're exactly the same difference as the original level, it might be possible to go up there, but again, I don't, I don't think there's any guides. There are no guides. Yeah, there's something up there, there is something up there. Uh, bullets and health pack. Yeah, it's probably possible to get there. I don't know what that brown thing is. Yeah, it's just grander than the original. The original was just like they did what they could with the engine, and I think if they made it exactly the same as the original, weird, okay, that was a weird glitch. The they would improve on it. I would have thought because. Why not? You know, it's like the same basic layout, which Anniversary didn't stick to the same layout. They completely changed everything, pretty much. With this one, it's very much the same difference in, in most areas, but there are differences where they can improve on the original than they did, I think. Oh, what are we doing? Yeah, do this kind of little climbing thing. So, in the in original game, you could only climb up something far as lower to jump and grab. Because this one she kind of does a little climbing thing so you, it, you could effectively climb up to something that looks like you can't get to it. This section there was yeah there was always little dinosaurs and things. Oh this is the bridge yeah. Didn't this break in half or something? Lara. Oh, okay, that. Lara.